What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I wanted to show you guys the locked door framework. Now, as I stated in the intro of the video, I wanted to show you guys the locked door framework. And essentially what this is, is a penetration testing framework that can be used by cybersecurity professionals in order to run pen tests against the target. And just to break it down a little further, it's a collection of a whole bunch of tools that are already included on Kali Linux or Parrot Linux and put them in one location that allows you to run it against or run those tools against the target. Now, as you guys know, I'm not a cybersecurity professional, but I do understand Linux and I understand how to install applications as well as use some of the cybersecurity tools that are included in this application. So in this video, I'll walk you guys through how to install the lock door framework and get it up and running on your Linux operating system. And if you guys didn't know, you can install any of the cybersecurity tools or pen testing tools on whatever distribution you're running on. So this method I'll show you can be installed on whatever distribution you're running at the moment. But I'll show you guys on Kali Linux because Kali Linux is somewhat of the industry standard of distributions that comes with a lot of cybersecurity tools and frameworks already pre-installed on the system. So let's hop right over to the GitHub so I can read a little bit about it, show you guys what it's all about. Okay, cool. So I'm at the GitHub for the locked door framework. And I just wanted to read a little bit about it, but it says a penetration testing framework with cybersecurity research. And here is the link, which I already have the website already pulled up. And just so you know, it has a, a GPL 3.0 license associated with this application. And if we scroll down a little further, the current version is locked door uh, version 2.3 and there are about four contributors of this application and you can see the different languages that are used with this application mostly python shell batch file, files uh, riff uh, make file lex and other so that breaks it all out for you and then here is the tables of contents just breaking down how to actually use the, the tool itself and if we scroll down, let's go down. Uh, they have a video already created for this thing, but I wanted to make my own video just to show you guys. I thought this was a tool that would be interested to share with my audience. I know everybody doesn't share the same audience. So that's why I'm making this video just to help the people that actually watch me, especially if you're trying to get into the cybersecurity field. But the overview right here, this explains a little more, but it says Lockdoor is a framework aimed at helping penetration testers, bug bounty hunters, and cybersecurity engineers. This tool is designed for Debian, Ubuntu, or Linux-based distributions to create a similar and familiar distribution for penetration testing. But containing the favorite and most used tools by pen testers so like i said it's a collection of tools into one somewhat of a framework so they're easily accessible which is not that unaccessible if you didn't have this tool on it all these tools a lot of these tools are already installed especially on like kali linux or parrot os but this puts it all in one location that way you can run through it but it's almost like going through a quick wizard to run these tools against a potential target and it says as a pen tester most of us have a personal pen test directory so this framework is helping you to build a perfect one with all of that it automates the pen testing process to help you do your job more quickly and easier and this is you know similar to how automation is coming up into the field and it's being used in everyday aspects of cybersecurity pen testing and all that people are always trying to automate the tools just to make things a whole lot easier and quickly accessible and if we scroll down a little more it just kind of breaks down a uh, pen testing tool selector and i'll show you guys all that they have screenshots demos and all that good stuff but what i'm mainly interested in showing you guys is how to install it you can install it using docker they have a docker image so you can download that or you can install it directly on the system which i'll show you guys how to do that it's basically a one 
line install and we can get this thing up and running in no time now let me go over to their website just to show you guys the website itself uh, but this is it basically has a lot of the same information on the github page but it's just their own website so i won't really go through it i just wanted to show it to you but it says like door and then and i don't want to mess up that name but uh dot france dot f4 i mean so let's hop over to my virtual machine and go down and get this thing installed okay so this is a fresh install of kali linux and let's go down and get to the install first thing i want to do is open up the terminal and i'm gonna make this thing a little bigger for you guys uh because i had a couple people say that the terminal terminal was a little too small so let's go down and zoom in a couple times and the reason i'm not using the shortcut is because because this is a virtual machine and it may do it on my main machine uh, when I run the shortcut. Sometimes I've had that issue, especially while I was recording. But anyway, the first thing you want to do is just verify that your system is up to date. So sudo apt update. And that's with anything that you're installing on an operating system, uh, especially a Linux operating system. You want to make sure you have the most up to date packages. As you can see, we need we have 11 packages and that's from earlier when i ran this so let's go down and uh run the updates right fast and it shouldn't take too long to get these updates installed it's only a few it said 11 updates so let's run through them right fast and I, i'll kind of skip ahead until it's done all right cool so the system is up to date and we really didn't need to do that to install this uh but what you want to use is git clone and I already have the link up and actually let's switch over to that desktop uh, and just grab the link. And all you gotta do is uh, copy the link to the repository, go back to your terminal uh, and type git clone and you can put it in whatever desktop you want to. Um, paste, paste it in there, press enter and that will clone down the repository to my home directory, which is fine. Uh, I don't need it in any other I mean, some people uh, uh, clone it to their desktop or whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, you can just clone it to your home directory because you're actually going to be installing it and moving it to a totally different location, which is in the op directory. Now, let's go down and CD to this directory and it's, uh, you know, lock door dash framework. And then we can LS this directory just to show you what's in there. And what we're looking for is this install.hsh. And what we need to do is make it executable. And what you need to do is use the chmod command. So we can type sudo uh, chmod and then plus and then the letter x lowercase. And then we just specify that file, the install.sh, press enter. That'll make it executable. And I believe it was already executable, uh, as you can see by the color. A lot of times it's the color that signifies that it's executable. Now, most of the time when it's not executable, it'll show like a regular file, kind of like this readme.md file or markdown file. Uh, it'll show white like that, and then it'll turn green once it becomes executable. So it might have already been in that executable state, but I just want to run a command because that's what I want you guys to do just in case it's not in an executable format. Now we can simply just install. So all we have to do is type sudo and then dot forward slash and then install for that file, and it'll go through and run the install process it'll check and get all the dependencies that are needed and it looks like all the dependencies were met i didn't see any errors and then now you want to specify the location you want it installed so i'm going to use the same location example that they have up there so ops and then sophia sophian and then pen test and press enter and that's where it'll install the actual framework for you and as you can see you'll get this uh, response that basically says lock door installed successfully type lock door in the terminal to use it so we can back out of this directory because currently we are still in that lock door directory and let's clear but all you have to do is type lock door and press enter and that'll start <laughs> two hours later okay cool so 
I had to actually troubleshoot this application in order to get it to work and I'll put the changes that I made to the install script. I'm actually submitting it to GitHub in order for the changes and hopefully he accept my changes. Uh, I actually messaged him on Twitter, the actual creator of the application because for some reason as soon as I started the install and I was finna pull down the actual package github went down and so I looked on Twitter and I seen everybody posting github down github down so I had to wait in order for github to come up and then I went through the install process and there is an issue within the install script where some packages are messed up I'm gonna submit a change to his actual application and hopefully he accepts it and I may come become a contributor to the application. But I ran the install again so you guys didn't see that but as you can see it looks like it worked so we're gonna run through and I'm gonna show you guys how the actual application works. So let's run sudo. As you can see I kind of ran it uh, first without running sudo but the way you run the application you just simply type uh, lock door you know after sudo press enter and that just should confirm the directory you want it to run from and as you can see it's that op sophian pen test uh, directory and all we have to do is type y to confirm it press enter and then press enter to continue and it confirmed that location press enter boom and right here it'll actually if you want to update uh, the install tools which I'm gonna type no because I don't wanna update the tools. I don't want you guys to wait for that, but let's press enter and it should bring up the root menu. And let's go down and make this thing bigger so you guys can see everything I'm doing uh, or at least everything on the screen. But as you can see, this is the root menu and it basically says make a choice and it's just like any other application I have ran on Kali. It's a lot of numbers, you know, and you can select whatever you want to to run. As you can see, it's broken up into a whole bunch of categories, information gathering, uh, web hacking, exploitation, reverse engineering, encryption, decryption, password attacks, shell, privilege escalation, social engineering, uh, pen testing and security assessment, finding report templates and help with walkthrough and pen testing process or the pen test process. So let's type one. I just wanna show you guys some of the tools that are included, which they're all included on Kali Linux, but this is just a simple way of actually running it. And it has everything organized. So it's very simple to go through. And as you can see, you got directory searches, uh, Striker. Uh, I know this application, I played around with it before, the Harvester, URL Extractor, Numerator, numerator and then Photon, Raccoon, Nmap, you know, definitely is a good tool, uh, Recon Dog, dog uh, Red Hawk, I played around with that application, and that's basically, you know, it, you can, and it's simple navigation, you can look down at the bottom, that's the navigation for it, I'm not going to show you guys how all these tools work, I'm going to just, like I said, I'm going to just go, go back and show you guys, or go through it and show you guys some of the tools that are included, but let's go into web hacking, uh, press enter, boom, there you go, and you got all your web hacking uh, tools there, and let's go back. And let's check out the let's say password attacks so let's press enter got crunch you know i know crunch that's the only one i know i think i've oh yeah and that's the rock you uh dot text that's the basically the most common passwords that are used or that were seen as being used by users uh, it's like the most common out of all the passwords people use i know a lot of a lot of times that text file, you know, it won't contain passwords because I've I've tested mine just to see if my my password was in Rock U or something like that. But I believe the passwords actually come from leaked passwords online as well. So let's go back and then let's go into the social engineering uh, kind of toolkit. That's basically what it is. So synth and social engineering cheat uh, cheat sheet. So that's good that that's there, boom. But that's pretty much it. Let's go to the about, just to 
you know you can look at the version that's the current version i'm gonna actually submit a request to him or not a request but i'm gonna submit a change to his install script and see if he you know accepts it just press enter get out of that and then all you have to do to leave the application is just type q and press enter and it'll get us out of lock door and drop us back down to the terminal and you don't have to be in this directory i want you guys to know that you know what i'm saying i just want at least let you guys know that you don't have to be in that directory i just was in that directory because i was trying to fix something with the actual install script and get the actual application working so i hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead on and check out lock door it's an excellent penetration testing framework that i think if you're in the cybersecurity field you should definitely know about it but check it out play around with it you know see if you can actually use it and and also only use this on networks that you have strict permission to actually use these tools on and that's for every tool in cali linux anytime i play around with these tools it's a separate network at my house that i own and manage when i play around with these tools in order to practice and see if i can understand you know cybersecurity better but again i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel and of course keep it tech